Next in CSS, we are going to use 2D transformation property along with animation. So this is basic HTML code and uh, this is paragraph tag within body section. And uh, in head section, this is our style. And within style, we are giving it for paragraph element. So width I'm giving is 100 pixel, height is also I'm giving is 200 pixel, background color we are choosing is blue, then to center the element vertically I'm giving margin. to auto this is going to horizontally center the element now I'm putting margin top to 100 pixel save now we are using animation so here I'm giving animation name You can give here any name. I have given one. Then is animation duration. How long animation is going to uh, run? I'm giving it five seconds. Then is animation delay. How long animation is going to wait before starting? will not start at once it will wait for two seconds and after that it is going to start now here to give animation we'll be using at the rate then keyframes and then animation in here we have chosen one written one so here we'll be writing one now this animation is going to complete in uh, five steps uh, five phases so for that First phase is 0% when it is 0% then we want that it should rotate uh, 45 degree and its background color should change to uh, crimson save and uh, go live so it is waiting for two seconds and after that it is taking five seconds to complete this uh, rotation of 45 degree next here it is zero percent then here i'm giving is 25 percent then transform and here we are using scale Whatever is the x-axis, it should increase its it by two. Means it is going to increase it twice. And uh, y-axis for y-axis, we want the same twice. That means whatever is the uh, size of y-axis, it is going to increase its uh, it twice. Then background color here we are choosing is dark green. Save. Go live. So after a delay of two seconds it is starting and you can see that uh, it has uh, uh, first it is rotating it uh, by 45 degrees and then it is using scale property then is 50 percent for that we want that it should skew first we'll use x axis by two and this time its color should be light pink and uh, when it is 75 percent 
then okay before that we can see that it is doing skew x if we are using skew y it is going to be different next is transform translate here we are saying that the uh, image uh, that the uh, box should move 50 pixel on x axis and uh, 49 pixel on y axis and when it is translating its uh, background color should be yellow save it has moved from its position now it is back on its position that was translate and in the end we want that when it is 100 percent we are doing nothing we are just changing background color to green yellow we will choose different color Dodger blue. So this color will appear after yellow color. That means after translate. 